Hello, I'm Liz, and let's get started. First up, we're going to hit Power, and we're going to tap on F12 to access Dell's built-in diagnostic software. Because we need to test for a hardware problem, and we need to test for a software problem, we're going to start with the hardware. We're going to click on Diagnostics. This diagnostic will scan to see if we have a potential problem with our hard drive or solid-state drive or RAM are the two thing, main things we're looking for right now. It will test everything, but we're looking for a RAM or drive related problem because it's a common cause for this particular error. If you find this video in any way helpful, please like, share, and subscribe for more great content. Okay, so in my case, as you can see, everything passed. So we're gonna move on to diagnosing the operating system. But for all you people out there who perhaps your hard drive or solid state drive failed, then we have a video in the description down below on how to replace it and reinstall Windows 11. If your RAM failed, we have a video on how to upgrade and change your RAM or, another, or just replace it altogether. Now, as you can hit, see, I've hit the exit button. I hit power and I'm tapping on F12 again to go back to that original window. Because now we're moving on to operating system solutions, which means I'm going to hit support assist recovery. It's going to bring me to this screen for a while, a couple of minutes, so hang tight. Uh, and if you find that your uh, perhaps screen looks a little different, uh, then that's okay. Just try your best to follow along. We're going to hit this blue button. And then on the next screen, we're going to hit skip. If you find that you don't have any of these settings, then try the, the other version of this video we have in the description down below. Now let's run through these. We have the update now. This is an excellent option. Try. I'm just going to run through them. The repair option, also great, and the reset option. So from a repair standpoint, we're going to do the least invasive options first for your operating system because they're the less likely to go wrong. So we're going to try updating your system first. Then you would try, if that didn't work, the repair option, and then you would try the reset. Each time after trying each one of these options, you would try restarting your computer and see if that remedied the plain error. Um, but you would try the update now, uh, like this, and then you would follow the prompts, make sure your computer's plugged in with any of these options, and you would go systematically through. And then next, next you would hit the repair option, and this is just a repair option. So some, oftentimes this may or may not work, but it's worth trying because it's the least invasive process. But the heavy hitter, um, and the one that most people end up having to use, is the reset option down below. And there's always a risk of loss of data when you reset a computer, even when it's backed up, and that's why we saved it for last. But we're going to try it because desperate times call for desperate measures, right? So we're going to go ahead and try it, and we'll hope it works. And it most likely will. But there's always more options if it doesn't. Now, if for any reason you can't access this reset option, you can always reinstall the operating system, and we have a video down below on how to do that. All right, so uh, right here, we're going to have to hit the next option, as you can see. And there's the optional data transfer, as you see. It estimates the runtime of 40 to 45 minutes. And this will give you all of that backup option. It has a note here, the data transfer. So that will be the next one. We hit next, and we're going to go to backup files, and it will show you how to do this. Okay, so yes, I give access, and I accept Microsoft. Now, if you don't care about your data, you want to go faster, you just want to get it done, well, then you can pick the other option. But most people pick up the backup option, so that's what I'm going to show you. I'm going to hit next. And it's going to immediately start backing up all my information. Um, and it's a little bit of a process, especially if you have a lot of data. And like I said, there is a possibility of you losing that data. I just want to throw that out there. Um, it is a sad thing, but it does happen. So we're going to go ahead and do this. And while you're waiting, I want to keep in, uh, keep in mind that it will take a little bit longer for you. But this one, we're going to hit next. But as it's going to do, it's going to back it up, and it's going to take a minute or two. Uh, keep in mind that you can always try some other options like a BIOS reset. We have a video in the description down below if this doesn't work. Um, and then you can also try manually testing your RAM. We have a black screen error that shows you a video that shows you how to manually test your RAM. So those, both of those are in the description down below if you find the operating system solutions are not a good fit for you. But Let's go ahead and finish what we've started. So your backup was a success. So the next button you're going to hit is continue. 
and then you're going to hit on the confirmation screen you're going to hit the button to continue again and it will start the reset uh, process now keep in mind seeing that my computer is working i'm not going to follow this all the way through but in your case you would you would hit i understand and then you would hit the next button and it would immediately start resetting your computer if you have any questions about this process or any uh, anything you want to uh, do i'm going to go ahead and cancel mine please leave them down below from one egghead to another egghead this is liz signing out